so I'm pretty freaking confused here. So, plus I see like milkiness here in my thing, but I kept on checking my oil to make sure there was no milkiness and there was none. So, and obviously you can tell this is a roller engine. It's a F4T roller 351. So the factory a spider in there. But dude, what the hell is up with those gaskets? And they're not, they're, they're not steel core. So, what the hell? Look at that. It's like it's separated into two different gasket pieces. Yeah, it literally looks like two different gaskets almost. That is freaking weird. Yeah, I've never had a gasket do this this badly, you know? Where it, look at that. Look at that. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so this is why it, it literally looks like Yeah, then that would be too thin because normally they're thicker than that. So they weren't bonded together correctly. Because, like I said, if this was actually a, uh, if I somehow forgot to put gaskets on there for some reason, this would say Edelbrock on both sides, but that, that would, I didn't do that. I, I'm meticulous about cleaning my services. So the gasket, either they gave me two gaskets, but they were bonded together perfectly. Like that. So I'm guessing they didn't heat treat it right? Or I don't know what the deal is, but that's freaking annoying. That's Edelbrock, 7220. And the same thing on both sides. So regardless, just total gasket separation. So I gotta clean up all these surfaces, I guess. Here's a, here's on the manifold. Look at this. Look at the milkiness on that. And that is some weird, weird shit. I mean, I guess I had, I had like, uh, yeah, but I kept on checking the oil. I, I don't have any milkiness inside the oil. Look at that. The whole thing is, look at that. You have one layer that stayed okay, then this other layer started pushing on top. I just show this to Edelbrock. And go, dude, what's up with your gaskets? Look at that. See, there's the Edelbrock logo. Look at that. Wow. Dude, that means, uh, look, at, look, at, look at that one runner. That's the airflow I was getting in one run. I couldn't figure out why my engine was acting. It was, the exhaust was kind of weird, you know what I mean? And I started losing power. I idled her rough, it started riding rough, but look at that. So that one cylinder was getting hardly any airflow.